This is Actar's Reviews, from anime to figures and beyond. Hey, this is Actar and welcome to another episode of Actar's Merchandise Reviews. Well, technically speaking, I guess it could also be considered a replica review, but that would just make the title of this video far too long. So, Toaru Majitsu no Index and its spin-off Toaru Kakaku no Ryogan has succeeded in creating an extremely expansive universe in which magic and science collide. It has everything from an intricate law to its very own canned beverages. Yes, one of the most charming aspects of the series is its strange drinks. Seen throughout the series in vending machines and drunk by the characters, they range from strawberry oden to plum porridge to tomato rainbow juice to curry soup. In fact, highly detailed labels, including manufacturing details and ingredients of the various drinks, can be found on the official Railgun anime homepage. Several of them were made into real coin bank replicas, and here are a couple that I got last year during my trip to Japan. The One of the more famous and relatively normal ones include the coconut cider, seen being drunk by Mikoto herself in the opening scene of the very first episode of the first season of Railgun. Undeniably a fan favourite, there is more to this little story. As part of the 10th anniversary celebration of the original novel's author's debut, the coconut cider was actually made into a real product, available only for a limited time. Unfortunately, in true Toaru fashion, it was only available through several vending machines in Tachikawa City, the basis for Academy City in the anime. But, being a fan of the series and replicas in general, I was not deterred. Through the magic of Yahoo Auctions Japan, internet proxies and spending more money on these than I actually should have, I have managed to acquire a number of these. First off, in terms of it being a replica, it doesn't really do that good of a job and that's perfectly understandable. I mean, you've got to put the real ingredients and the real nutrition information on the side. Let's see, we have the energy, tanpak shitsu, shishitsu, tansui kaputsu, and natorium, which is essentially energy, protein, fats, carbohydrates, and sodium. Also, we do have original art of the four main protagonists of Railgun posing with the drink itself. However, that's not all that's inaccurate. Turning the can back to the front, we see something's not quite right. Instead of it being simply coconut cider, we now have coconut and pineapple cider. Why they decided to add pineapple is really beyond me. Perhaps they felt that coconut by itself wouldn't be enough of a taste sensation to rock the nation. <sighs> Whatever the case, it's time to get down to the taste test. Being a huge fan of coconut, be it coconut juice, coconut milk, I absolutely love the taste. So I kind of have high expectations for this. Mm-hmm, the drink is carbonated as expected of a soda and it looks to be cloudy white. Not unlike Kelpis if you've ever had that drink before and definitely very evocative of coconut flesh. So uh, here goes, bottoms up. Mmm. <coughs> Wow, that's interesting, and I mean that in a good way. It's sweet, the flavours are pronounced, and I can definitely taste both the coconut and the pineapple notes very distinctly, and yet they complement each other surprisingly well. It's smooth, but with a somewhat citric and fruity tang. The coconut leans a little bit towards the artificial coconut taste, like that of coconut candy and coconut flakes, as opposed to fresh coconut juice, but it's undeniably coconut. It's a very strange yet enjoyable drink, which I guess is pretty much what it's supposed to be. Though, if you're not a fan of coconut, I can see how you'd find this less than appealing. In conclusion, if you are a fan of the Real Dex franchise or a fan of Mikoto, I strongly urge that you try to track these down if you have any interest in them. 
Unlike other replicas they can simply pose with or display on a shelf, you actually get to have a literal taste of Academy City and drink what the characters drink. And after a refreshing beverage, you get to have a nice little commemorative replica can to display on your shelf too. So, the Zags are saying, see you guys in the next episode and cheers.